Lord for that testimony. Praise the Lord. But he's an all the way God in the name of Jesus. Yeah. He, and, told uh, me, he told me that tomorrow morning he, he expects that I won't be on the stretcher. Amen. That's right. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. You know, actually, there's a case where Jesus prayed for a man three times. Yeah, three Amen. times. Right? You know blind that, man. right? Yeah. Yep, the blind man. So, because uh, uh, he didn't want to leave it halfway. And when the lepers came, it says, as they went, they were praying. Yeah. That's Amen. right. Amen. As they went. Amen. So, uh, uh, how crazy do you want to get tonight, David? <laughs> you kind of put me on the spot here. No, I'm not putting, you can do whatever you want. I'm just asking how crazy you want to get. Well, I'm actually, I'm actually putting about three quarters of the pressure, and that was, well, that was I couldn't even do that this morning. So, that's, 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 Amen. that's amazing. Yeah, and praise the Lord. They told, me, they told me Monday I'd be off these crutches. I'm not going to use them tomorrow. I'm going to see how that works. Amen. When I wake up tomorrow, I'm going to walk to church. Okay, Amen. Amen. So, Amen. That's my, that's my plan, anyways. So, Amen. See, I can't. Even, I couldn't even do this this morning. So that's. That, it just came up another level just now. Try it again. <laughs> that just came up another level. I just felt that, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Did you feel that right there? And there it went again. It just like feel it. Didn't that need? It just went again. That's David. <laughs> you can feel an improvement now, can't you? See that? How the spirit just blew through there. And he just did that. Now see, what I want to... I'm not trying to be hard on David, but God's bringing David a long ways here. Now listen, Mary, yeah. we're not done yet because oh, they, they just went up another level again, David. But listen, uh, uh, I am so impressed with Mary's growth. Those guys, of you that are, are from here and that have been with us for the last few years through the Sydney Church, now we're glorifying God, we're not glorifying the person. But Mary has grown so much in the last two years, you wouldn't even believe it. Amen. And we are very proud of you. And you just stick with it, okay? Amen. And God didn't put any sickness on you to teach you nothing. The devil put that on That's you. Right. Okay? God didn't do it. But God has been delivering you over this stuff to show you His mercy and His goodness. He didn't do it. He's the one that's delivering you out of it, okay? But you've been growing a lot, and you stick with it. Okay? You stick in the Word, okay? I gave you that Bible with underlined verses you read those and stick with it now david how crazy do you want to be <laughs> you'll be like crutch in the name of jesus now this is only if you want to do it because you know what jesus you're going to get healed one way or the, uh, or the other it's just how long this is going to take so so are you ready for that to go the rest of the way larry why don't you just take his arm i think he is he's reluctant but he is and uh, uh now this is a Jesus show. Are you hearing this? Yeah. This is a Jesus show. By His stripes we are healed. Yeah. Amen? Amen? We are yeah. saved. We are set free. We are full of the Holy Ghost. It's the same Jesus that did it all. Amen? Amen. Right. Father, in Jesus' name. Yes. Uh, actually, I don't even want to... Brother Bowen, I want you to pray for him. Father, in the name of Jesus, Apostle Paul said that if the spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead lives in us, he'll quicken our mortal bodies. So I pray right now for David's body that it be quickened in that leg right now. Every sinew, every muscle, every, every bone, everything, Father, ligament that needs to be quickened. May the power of God flow into that right now in the name of Jesus. May there be a, 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 a recovery even now, Lord, in the name of Jesus as he stands here. And thank you for it, Lord. Amen. Thank you for it, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for Amen. it, Lord. That's right. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And, uh, Hallelujah. Yeah, in Jesus' in, in, in Jesus name. Praise the Lord. You know, there's another thing, too. There's a, uh, uh, and now you think I'm putting you on the spot. Wait for this. There, There's a, I know, like, we're talking and, and sharing and stuff, but there's a partnership emerging between you and Larry. Let it develop. Okay? Let it develop. He is Free liberty, free reign. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Let it develop, okay? There's a partnership thing happening there. That's one of the reasons God used them when he prayed for your knee. Amen? When you see things like that, you take note of that and hold on to that, all right? So, so praise. Well, you can have these if you come get them. <laughs> <laughs> Who else wants prayer? Praise the Lord. So yesterday, those of you that came to the well saw David hobbling in on crutches, didn't you? Huh? Hobbling in on crutches. They didn't look very good on you, though. No. Okay, so praise the Lord. So, huh? 
we got it. We'll try to put something together here uh, when I got a t time to put it together. But David, anything you want to share? Yeah, um, you know, I was raised, you know, I've, I've seen people healed before. You know, I've seen, like, uh, people walk and stuff. And, and then let, until you witness it yourself, there's still a, a, a little bit of, you know, a little bit of doubt maybe. And I don't know if doubt's the word you want to use. But um, I went there last night, and I knew I, knew I was going to get prayed for because that's what Dave, you know, Dave already told me that I was going to get prayed for. And I wanted to get prayed for. And um, he prayed for me, and I, 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 I hobbled to the back of the, the room. And Larry laid his hands on me, and when he did, he prayed for me, and it just it started getting warm. It was cold, you know, it was like felt cold because it was all wrapped up and everything. And it just started feeling warm. So I knew, I knew that God was doing the work. I knew God was doing the work on me when he prayed for me the first time. But when he, and it seemed like, it was just like confirmation for me when I felt the warmth. And I walked out of there without crutches. And I had no pain this morning. And um, if you guys know anything about, like, arthritis or whatever, that's not something that's, that's not something that you can just say, okay, it happened one time and it doesn't happen another. It's, it's a constant thing. And, and I've had pain for, like, 20 years with, with this, you know. And um, the, the way this happened, I'll give the back story, too. Is that okay? Um, I was getting ready to clock out at work, and I had turned my paperwork in, and I was headed to the time clock, and I turned, and my knee just gave out on me, and I fell. And, of course, you know, I'm, it hurt, but I'm more worried about, you know, first thing, I'm going to miss work, you know, what, you know what's, what's the results of this, why did it happen, it hasn't happened in a long time, you know. So, of course, you know, I work for Spirit Medical Transport, so there's an ambulance available, so they, they, they patched, packed me up, and put me in the ambulance, and drove me down to the hospital, and of course, you know, all the nurses knew me, so that, you know, the jokes and all that, but that, that kind of, it kind of, kind of gave me a, um, what do you want to say, a sense of relief knowing that there was enough people there to care for me, because if that had happened at home, you know, what, what, you know, what would have happened, you know, if I would have been taking the dogs out or something, and I would have fallen, where, you know, what would have happened, so anyway, that means that the doctor comes back in and tells me, well, we took an x-ray of your knee, and you have severe arthritis, which I already knew, <laughs> you know, I mean, <laughs> I'm not, you know, I know that. And he goes, and you may have to have, you said, uh, this is the way he worded it. A knee, a, knee replacement in it. a knee replacement is in your near future. Well, I'm thinking, you know, my daughter and her friend are sitting in the room, and I'm thinking, they heard this, you know. And so I walk out of there with crutches, and they, you know, I, I actually drove home, which is probably not the wisest thing to do, but I drove home from work, and I, I, I got home, and I, I, didn't really sleep that well at the night, but I woke up. I did what I had to do for Saturday morning, and I said, I'm not missing the well. First of all, it's Blaine Bowman, <laughs> and second of all, I knew that God was going to do something. Well, I got prayed for. I walked out of there without crutches, and I have no pain today. Amen. So. Amen. How many of you are glad that